What's up, everybody? It's Jim with Reverb.com. I'm here at the Ernie Ball Music Man booth with a terrifically talented Annie Clark. Uh, thanks for taking the time, Annie. My pleasure. Awesome. So, brand new signature guitar. Um, why don't we just start with uh, just kind of where the idea came from, uh, kind of the design process. Um, well, the design, I'm a big fan of the kind of angular 60s things that were going on in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a big fan of Klaus Nomi. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to make something that was that was just angular without looking necessarily like a like a metal guitar. Because right. you know there's this kind of a fine line. The colors again were based on sort of like having it have a having a slim waist so that it was especially comfortable ergonomic here. Sure, sure. This neck I had played uh, when I when I was playing in Albert Lee, and I loved it. I just fell in love with it, so I was like, I gotta, I ha gotta have that African mahogany yeah. neck. And then it's got uh, the whammy bar, which is totally necessary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and three mini humbuckers and five uh, tone configurations. So it's just like it's adaptable, it's versatile, um, but it's a really, it's a really playerly guitar. Like it's like I. Now that I have this, I haven't reached for any other guitar. Wow. I mean, it does look modern, right? And we were just talking off camera a little bit about the Bobcat, um, which is decidedly a vintage, you know, guitar. Yeah. It looks like a vintage guitar. Is there anything from that guitar, from the Bobcat, that you kind of brought into this? Yes, in that the Bobcat is very light, and that was one of the reasons, and the P90s, I love the sound of those, but I, 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 the Bobcat, I liked how light it was, so I wanted to make sure that this was really light, as light as possible, because I play 200 shows a year, right. and I'm, I'm, always, I'm always holding a guitar, so, and I'm not a big person, so I just wanted something that would be really comfortable, and I could continue standing for a lot, a lot of years to come. <laughs> yeah, right. And did you pick out the like the all the all the details and yeah, everything? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is from the logo. So mm -hmm. I mean, rather than doing just a traditional circle, you know, just thought, okay, well let's right. let's do the um, abstracted S, mm -hmm. and it it goes with the rest of the d design, which is clean lines. You know, even the knobs are triangular. Everything is sort of. Well, oh yeah, I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah. So That's everything cool. is kind of. What's the traditional thing that you usually see? Well, why does it why does it have to be that way? Right. Let's make it let's make it different. Um, try to find a way to improve on it, or at least make it look better. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. the other thing I I would say I brought from the Bobcat was the the whammy bar because those have just terrific whammy bars that you can like really dive bomb with them, mm -hmm. but they don't stay in tune because right. they're a vintage instrument from Sears. Or, really, and I was gonna ask you, did you ever like switch out the bridge on those or anything like that to help compensate? Or um, I got I got work done on the bridge, but I never switched anything out because right. I liked. Right. I felt like it, I I was worried it would lose character, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, right. but this I can play, go to town, and it stays in tune. Right. So you were talking about kind of the P90s and like gold foils that are that are in those Bobcats. You switched to the mini hums in this. Did you have to switch anything around on your board be when you switched to this guitar or did it kind of slot right in? I slotted it right in without making any changes to the show because I played it on stage. And I was kind of expecting that I would have to, oh, shit. What's the gain? What's going on with the gain? Should right. we adjust the foot? Blah, blah, blah. But it actually ended up just sounding better yeah. just sounding better like, it, was cre out. it was you know I know it's esoteric but it was like creamier right sure it just sounded great mm -hmm. that's awesome uh, well you should check them out they're on reverb you can find these now uh, Annie thanks so much for taking the thank time thank you pleasure awesome.